Currently, I'm working in oil painting with pastels as a sketching medium, large-scale charcoal on mylar, and I'm working in relief work, wood engravings, wood cuts. I see my fellow artists and, and friends uh, that work in a single medium and, you know, really refine it. And I sometimes wonder, you know, like, I should just, I should just pick one and really focus on it. I don't think I could if I wanted to. Uh, I'm, and I don't know if that's like a, a you know, schizophrenia or uh, it just seems uh, I love all of them. And I'm loath to, you know, uh, eliminate any. What I'm working on here is a sketch for the um, a final oil painting. This is a pastel painting. I really want to get an idea for my mostly tonality, the lights and darks, um, and a balance here, and also some some ideas of uh, the kind of colors I, I want to use. I'll be enlarging this piece um, in the in the, in the final painting. I like to work it out, I guess, on a small scale. Uh, kind of because I got used to doing the plein air work, small paintings, and then making them bigger. So uh, currently, though, I'm working with pastels. And, um, you know, I'll go from that uh, to develop that into a full scale, a larger painting. I work in a lot of medias because I, I think it's because of my, my background, which is uh, high school art I taught for quite a while, Bethlehem Central, and uh, having to teach everything. I became proficient in everything and, or had to, and uh, so I just, you know, kept that up. So this is my uh, setup for the uh, charcoals. And I have a sheet of mylar here over my drawing. Charcoals on mylar, um, it was probably 15 years ago when I, I walked into an architectural supply store and they had a uh, three foot wide roll of mylar and it was on sale for pennies. Uh, no one is using mylar to draw on anymore. And I tried it out. It's wonderful. It's like, it's, uh, it's, the closest thing to painting in a dry medium. Uh, with, with the charcoal on mylar, it's, it's like, it, it almost, it's almost greasy. You can smear it. And uh, my, I use my fingers quite a bit to uh, my palms and, uh, you know, men, whatever tools I want. But it's, it really is almost like liquid. And the mylar just, uh, I won't say it soaks it up, but the tooth on the mylar is just perfect. I uh, bought a press, and uh, that changed uh, my direction where I became more interested in the uh, wood engravings. Uh, the press is an old uh, golden proof press that I uh, picked up from a, a printmaker in, uh, or a printer in uh, Worcester. 1889 is when this press was in, in use, and uh, it still works today as well as it ever did. I put my paper in the press and uh, we'll make a print. This is the, the print. One of the most important things to know about wood engraving is that it's, um, it's a form of relief printmaking. So um, if you think of a stamp, um, that is relief printmaking, and you stamp it in the, in the ink and you stamp your image. Most of the time I'll do a sketch, um, approximate size of the block that I want to use, and then uh, transfer that to the block by a, a simple, you know, I trace it, I flip the tracing over to reverse it, and I use a piece of transfer paper and uh, just draw on the back of the tracing, and it transfers to the block. Um, and then, you know, it's a matter of, um, of cutting it. 
the, it, the details aren't all there. It's a very um, rough drawing, but I have enough wood engravings under my belt that I, I know where I, where I want to put different tonalities. I have always made art since I was a kid, but honestly, I don't, I look at everybody else's art, it's always like, it's great. Uh, I have a problematic ego. And, you know, I love a piece when I'm working on it, and I'm thinking, ah, this is the greatest thing I've ever made. And then, you know, a month later, I'm like, I fall out of love with it, and it's, I gotta do something else and go beyond. Um, it's real hard to describe my art, um, but I realize I, 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 I don't want to compare myself to other people, and I really have to um, remind myself of that and just do what I do. Um, you know, if it's four or five mediums or six mediums, so be it. <laughs>